So uh, you guys remember Dave Chappelle? The last half of his show, he came out with his whole, hey, I'm not transphobic. I have a trans friend. And then he proceeds to throw the trans community under the bus and basically accuse the trans community of causing his trans friend to commit suicide. Now, Dave Chappelle fans will be, Dusty, it's all jokes. He's a comedian. No, he wasn't joking. Just because he's a comedian doesn't mean everything he says is a joke. When he comes out there and he claims that one of the reasons she killed herself was because the trans community bullied her into it. What, what's the joke in that? You can't just claim every word that Dave Chappelle is a joke because it's comedian. It doesn't work like that. That's a very dishonest framing. And uh, you're not somebody who's worth taking seriously if you say that. So he came out and basically threw the trans community under the bus because in order to make himself the victim, he has to make the trans community the bad guys here. It's not that he's a trans piece of shit that spreads trans lies. No, it's the trans community that are bullies. The trans community literally killed his friend. Only it turns out it wasn't true. He made it all fucking up. The final third of Dave Chappelle's comedy special, The Closer, is an extended Some of My Best Friends Are Trans Antidote. Daphne Dorman was a comedian, actress, and former software engineer who, according to Chappelle, stood out of the crowd at his small venue, San Francisco show, by both being trans and laughing at his trans jokes. They met after one of his sets, and he eventually asked her to be his opening act. Chappelle described his friendship with Dorman in the hidden ending to his 2019 special, Sticks and Stones. She was thrilled to be name-checked by one of her favorite comedians and posted about their relationship on Facebook and Instagram. On Twitter, she defended Chappelle against charges of transphobia. According to Chappelle... This statement of support sparked a wave of vicious harassment from LGBT community. It took a lot of heart to defend me like that. And when she did that, the trans community dragged that bitch all over Twitter. Six days after that wonderful night I described to you, my friend Daphne killed herself. So there it is. Throwing the trans community, the LGBT community under the bus. Hey, you killed my friend. I'm not transphobic. You guys are transphobic. And yeah, it's a lie. Chappelle attributes Dorman's suicide, at least in part, to the avalanche of abuse she received from other trans people. I don't know if it was them dragging or I don't know what was going on in her life, but I bet dragging her didn't help, he said. I was very angry at them. I was very angry at her. Since the release of Chappelle's special, the narrative that Dorman was bullied into suicide by other trans people has taken hold in the right-wing media, like the Federalist variant says, uh, These lying cowards, they want to destroy Dave Chappelle because he told the story of a transgender fan who was hounded to suicide by members of the LGBT community for refusing to be a prop and a weapon. It has also, as these things often do, migrated to serious publications. Here's The Economist repeating Chappelle's description of Dorman's suicide. Yep, they just take what he says is gospel. Chappelle is making a serious accusation blaming a specific person or group for hounding someone into suicide amounts to a charge of murder. Given the complex nature of mental illness and self-harm, cases where the facts warrant such an accusation are extremely rare. So what's the evidence that online bullying from trans people led to Daphne Dorman to take her own life? None. There is none. Dave Chappelle made this up because he does not give a fuck. His ego would not allow him to do any kind of self-reflection to allow him to admit that he's wrong and people are sucking his dick and kissing his ass for his transphobic nonsense. And so he's just going to lie and throw the trans community under the bus and blame them for the death of this woman when there's no evidence they had anything to fucking do with it. In fact, her own family and her own friends, people that knew her in real life, came out and told why she committed suicide and it had nothing to fucking do with any of the things that Dave Chappelle said. And I don't think Dave Chappelle even looked into it. He just assumed, hey, she supported me. I bet Twitter dragged her all over the place. I bet that's what caused it. I don't even have to look. I don't have to research anything. Just like he didn't research the lies he told about J.K. Rowling in a special. He does not give a shit what the truth is. Chappelle's wording implies that Dorman's suicide happened shortly after she spent the tweet supporting him. But her post is from August 2009, and she killed herself in mid-October, nearly six weeks later. In the interim period, I could find no trace of online harassment or abuse. Her tweet currently has hundreds of replies, but they're almost universally from Chappelle fans after the closer came out. Back in 2019, according to the archive.org, the tweet had just 12 replies. Another jokier tweet about Chappelle had nine. Of the contemporaneous replies that had been archived, none are critical. Here's what they look like. 
I look forward to watching your special when it manifests itself. Are you the Daphne he speaks of in the epilogue? Holy smokes, you are. It's like this across the internet. The Instagram post in which she declared her friendship with Chappelle doesn't have any critical replies. Comments on her Facebook post announcing that she was opening for Chappelle are uniformly positive. So are the ones on Reddit. After she posted about it there, she doesn't appear to have said anything on Twitter or Facebook about receiving abuse. Her suicide note doesn't mention bullying, nor do any of the obituaries written after her suicide. I also couldn't find any news stories from 2019 describing a campaign of harassment against Dorman. Right-wing websites will publish anything that makes trans activists look unreasonable. I found it difficult to believe that a trans woman was bullied by other trans people for supporting Dave Chappelle, basically the platonic ideal of an alt-right clickbait story and didn't show up in Breitbart, Spiked, or Daily Mail. The narrative that Dorman was hounded to death by trans people relies exclusively on Chappelle's word. Dorman's sister, who supports Chappelle and call him an LGBTQ ally, attribute her suicide to PTSD from a traumatic childhood. You know, bullying from people who listen to people like Dave Chappelle lie about the whole situation with J.K. Rowling, which leads to more bullying, more anti-trans panic. Yes, that adds to the atmosphere that led to her suicide. Dave Chappelle. Her friend and former roommate says Dorman had battled suicidal thoughts for years. The final blow, she wrote in a Facebook post, was a combination of her losing custody of her daughter, losing her job, and dealing with a lot of transphobic harassment on the streets of San Francisco. So, uh, Dave Chappelle don't give a fuck, like I said. None of these people give a fuck. He's more interested in making millions of dollars and painting himself as a fucking victim. And who cares how many people he hurts in the process? This is why he's the right-wing darling, because this is what they fucking reward.